So here's a quick video then, uh, how to assemble a fortress anchor, um, just to show you the box there. This is the smallest one, um, and I bought it uh, to be the second anchor for Little Rona. Um, it's really light, they're very, they're very good anchors, um, there been lots of tests, um, for their for their the size and the weight of them, particularly the weight of them, because they're made from aluminium. Uh, they're really, really good performing anchors. And this is replacing um, a, a similar sort of style of anchor. Um, I will do another video actually to show you the all the new anchors, or the two new anchors compared to the two old anchors. But this is replacing an old Danforth style. Um, that weighs about six or seven kilos or something a horrible thing to have to sort of row out in a dinghy or, or what have you so yeah this this will be much more practical um, and it will i've got about a two meter length of eight mil chain um, and then the rest will be uh, a rope road um, so yeah as i say it'll be the the second anchor or the kedge anchor or the stern anchor whatever you want to call it um, uh, for little Rona. So yeah, it just goes in. These are all the bits that you get with it. Um, these two, uh, that's it, go in there, like that, and like, like that. I've actually got um, on here there are two holes so this um, actually normally you would put through that one but as it, I don't know if you can see that there on the camera it says for soft mud anchoring only so if you're in really soft mud you would put the uh, the rod through that one normal circumstances you put the rod through that one it changes the angle of attack um, from about 30 degrees to about 45 degrees something like that so that will give you a steeper angle of attack which is for very very soft mud um, so yeah once you put those two in that then goes in there and then it's just a case of threading the, uh, the rod through and you make sure that, that you can see it's just going through this hole now so through the hole through there I mean, you can measure that if you want. If you want to be, if you want to be super precise, you could measure that with a ruler or something like that. That basically is it. Um, that basically is your anchor. Um, and then all you have to do then is, is tighten, tighten that one there, tighten that one there. Uh, it's, it's as light as you like. It weighs, it weighs nothing. But it, it weighs 1.8 kilograms is what it weighs. Um, so yeah, once you tighten that, tighten that, and there are these these things as well, which they call mud palms, which you also need to attach. Um, you've got a little bag of uh, nuts and bolts. These actually are not nylock nuts, so I will I will replace those with some nylock nuts, which I think I've got a little stock of somewhere. These they put nylock nuts on, but anyway, these they go on that way. And they've been quite clever actually. You can see the holes. One one of the holes is offset there, and one of the holes is offset on there, which I've just worked out. You can't put them on the wrong way, basically. That's why they've done that. So yeah, cleverly they've offset one of the holes to make sure that you get these mud palms in the right place. So you got one of those on the top, one of those on the bottom, and that's it. You know, you you, you can you can leave those attached. You can leave those attached to this part here uh, permanently, and then if you want, you can just. I mean, it takes a few seconds to 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 assemble the anchor. That's literally all it takes. Really, really nice. So yeah, a couple of uh, couple of meters of chain, eight mil chain, um, and it's a really nice, very, very effective, very easily transported in a dinghy or whatever you use as your tender. Um, Hedge anchor, stern anchor, 
lunch hook, whatever you want to call it really. Um, the only other thing that I, I would sort of add is uh, when you when you're attaching your shackle uh, that you that you don't attach your shackle like that because then you've got the uh, two edges cutting into the cutting into the shackle. The correct way to do it is is to have the pin there like that, and then you've got a, a flat mating surface if you like. Whereas if you put it in like that, put the shackle in like that, you haven't got a flat mating surface. So that would more, more quickly um, rub, rub that away, that edge away there. So yeah, that is the correct way to uh, to attach your shackle. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's the first of the two new anchors. Um, I'll say we'll do another anchor video. Uh, we'll get, I'll get all four anchors out and, and sort of talk a bit about why I chose the anchors that I chose. So yeah, that's it for the fortress anchor.